Some of the best sunsets we've ever seen. Yeah, this is real outback. I like it. All right, guys, welcome to another episode. We are in the Northern Territory, as you saw last episode. Yes, we are. We're continuing our golf journey west and north into a bit of warmer weather onto a station and uh, we're going to do some fishing, crabbing, <laughs> cooking, and everything, anything. See what we get up to. Yeah. Anyway, let's go. With the kids being demanding this morning, we forgot our own coffee and tea, so um, <laughs> we just stopped at the end of the track out of the campsite to make one. All right, now we can go. Yeah, she's a bit rough. We're only at 40 k's at the moment. <laughs> we set off on yet another corrugated dirt road, headed towards the Gulf of Carpentaria, seeking the ultimate adventure. And what an experience this place was. Nick just said to me that he's got the adventure tingles. <laughs> I wonder what they are. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> oh, you can't tell what it is. <laughs> yeah, butterflies. This is Seven Emu Station, situated east of Hell's Gate in the Northern Territory. We ventured 60 kilometres off the Savannah Way to the homestead, which is the start of our 35 kilometre trek out to the Robson River mouth. As we left the homestead, we came across our first obstacle, Bulldust Holes. This road is pretty cool. Just makes us way along the river and we've been going it's like 30 k's we're punching out to the river mouth it's pretty rough going i don't know how you'd go with a big van but um yeah we've got, i think we've got another 10 k's to go but um have a look at the river We finally made it to camp after 30 k's of driving from the homestead. It is insane. But yeah, we found camp and what a spot. It is a cracker. This is not oh, paradise. We're just gonna get the tinny off now. And this is super remote. Like it takes 30 k's to get back and it's a sort of a lot, slow journey yeah. back to the homestead. And then from the homestead, I think you're about nearly 100, 200 k's from anything there. So. Yeah. We're pretty remote. I <laughs> said so we're staying in the car on the way here. Like we've done the Cape and a few other remote places, and this is the most remote we've done. If something goes wrong here, <laughs> it goes wrong yeah, here. Yeah, you bugger, eh? <laughs> here and he's out casting his net already. Oh, that is going to be some good. Look how fat they are. Barra baits, the smaller ones, and then uh, the bigger ones, crab bait. <laughs> 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 get him in one. You get him. Go him in one. I turned around for two seconds and Nick and his little shadow wasted no time Good putting the tinny in. It. You see an off road trolley? Uh, gotta be today. Oh. What could go wrong? What's your plan, big boy? I don't know if you get down there and catch it. Yeah. <laughs> that 
Okay. Doing your daily clean? Yes. So every night before dinner time, I come in here and just do a quick sweep and everything so it's nice when you go to bed. But I'm pretty impressed. There was no, look at the dust, like nothing. nothing. <laughs> so nothing came in. That's good. And we were very dusty today. We were very dusty. So that's a good thing. <laughs> I hate dust in the van. Well, that's the end to our first, well, first afternoon here at uh, 7 Avenue Station. And have a look at the sun going down. Look at our camp chair set up here. Alenia's cooking us some tea on the fire. Doesn't get much better in here, so I'm gonna get the drain up and uh, get the last of that sunset. And um, we'll see you in the morning. We just can't get enough of that, can we? Nah, look at the colours in it. Wow. Right up into the sky, that purple. Alright, we'll, we'll put the camera down there. Good morning, everyone. We have a beautiful morning. We're keen to go fishing this morning on the tinny. Big boys cooking bacon and eggs. Getting some bacon going. Must be a good morning. Bacon yeah, eggs. It's gotta be. We're gonna get some <laughs> crabs, fish, everything. Anyway, we had a pretty crappy night with the boys last night. So we're gonna move on from that and we're gonna have a good day and we're Mom. gonna catch some fish, aren't we? Yes. Woohoo! So we're gonna sit here, have our cuppa and bacon eggs, and I think we'll go out. Yeah. Ready buddy! Ready! Ready! Good boy. Finny's having a bit of a sleep, so Lennox and I are going to put the pots in and um, go for it. So we're just, Lennox and I are just sounding around trying to find some ground so when we bring Alenia and everyone out, we have a chance of catching a fish, but the crab pots are in. You two making some scones? Yeah. Yeah, cooking on the campfire. So someone was supposed to be looking after Lennox's scones that he made in the camp oven. And where is he? Nowhere to be seen. Dad, what was your sole purpose of the scones? Well, I put them on with Lennox. Where were you supposed to look after them? No, the I don't think so. Where were you? Where were you? <laughs> I wasn't. I was fishing, catching Nick, fish. are you going to have the heart oh, to tell them this is what happened? No. Nah. That's <laughs> <laughs> That's part of the ocean now, that's fish food. <laughs> we finally got out for an Arvo fish with a few fish coming over the side of the boat. A few fish, but he's lucky we got fish in the freezer still. A nice little codly. Yeah, it took a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a little Woo! jack. What have we got here? Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> yeah. It was a bit of a warm up for the next day, but back to camp to feed some of these hungry little boys. Welcome to Elenia's cooking segment. First of all, because I'm cooking on a fire, we need more wood. So I'm gonna have to chop some. Cooking segment this week 
is loaded fries. I've been craving them, so I'm gonna do them. And you get Nick to cut the onion because I don't like it on my, the smell on my hands. <laughs> good See? man, oh. what a man. Oh. What a mighty good man. All right, so I've chopped me things up. We've got bacon, chicken, and onion. Our potato that's gonna go in the camp oven. And then I want sauce with it, but I'm just, we don't have any reception, so I can't even Google anything. But um, I'm just gonna wing it and see how we go. All right, so cooking my ingredients in one pan and cooking my potato chippies in the other, in the camp oven. Fingers crossed. This tastes good. So I've decided what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna trial it for my sauce. So in my billy, it doesn't look so good now, but we've got sour cream, a chicken stock cube and cheese. Do you think it's gonna be nice? I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Has it been done before? I don't know. We'll give it a go. I think I did well. We sort of saved the sauce. Um, <laughs> But yeah, they're my loaded fries. We'll get Lennox to taste it first, eh? Just in the nick of time too. That yeah. sun's going down behind you. All right, Lennox, come and taste it. They look pretty good. Do you want to taste it, Dad? You go. Oh my God. They good? Yeah. Have you nailed it? Oh my God. It? I'm yeah. gonna put the head torch on you. Oh God. Did Jesus. you nail it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I nailed that, we're doing that again. Holy moly. Look at it. All right, so we now it another awesome cooking show by me. <laughs> Woohoo! With an awesome sunset. I know, and a screaming kid in the background. <laughs> Doesn't get much better than that. You've got to take the good with the bad. Yeah, I know. And today, it's mostly good. Yeah, I know. Elena caught a few fish. Yeah, um, eventually. We caught a few that we could have kept, but we've got a, a freezer full of fish still. Don't so. want to be greedy. No, that's right. And we did catch a few crabs, but undersized, so we'll see how we go tomorrow. Yeah. Anyway, we'll leave you guys to it, and we'll see you in the morning. Yeah, we're going to sit here and watch this. Lennox, do you want to tell everyone what we're doing today? Yeah. Yeah? We are going to get some live bait. And then what are we doing? Eh? We're going to check the pots. But first yeah. we've got to get live bait. And how else have you got some good sunnies? And um, we found yesterday the jacks love these little tiny, um, about an inch long little mullet. That's what we're after, aren't we? Yeah. 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 To continue our search for a jack, a legal jack. Yeah? Hey, I need on it, it's all it. Yeah. Yeah, you did catch a little fish yesterday. No, I no more. Oh, you want to catch a little fish now? No. Oh, sure. Can't win. I'm a big and fish. Oh, you want to catch a big and fish? Yeah, I no, 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 no. Oh, okay, there we go. Well, we've got to catch a little fish to catch a big and fish, so how about we get some? That landed fair dinkum on a score. If we don't have any out of that. No. You'll just be shark bait. Cross bait, sorry. <sighs> Some little ones. That's what we're after, Lennox. We'll show the camera. <laughs> That sort of size. Perfect jack bait. Take it off, eh? It's getting hot in here. Just floating to our first crab pot. Just outside of camp. That's us right there. What's the crab count gonna be in this one, boys? Seven. Six. Six. Yeah. Pull it, Lennox. Go, big boy. Too heavy. Too heavy, that means it's full of crabs. Good job, look at those muscles. Mum loves pulling pots. Look at that smile. The unknown, isn't it, though, whether you catch some or not? Oh, Nui, can you see him in there? Yeah. Oh, 
A couple of crabs oh, and a couple of cods. Uh, he might go legal, but we'll see. Anyone want cod for dinner? Now, I can't take credit for this crab because Elena said to put that pot next to, uh, <laughs> next to camp there. So this crab is hers tonight or lunchtime, whatever we, whatever we decide. So all tied up, we tie them up now because we've got the boys, uh, <laughs> they can't get anyone and they don't throw claws and stuff when you boil them or put them in the fire or whatever. One down. It's the first pot. Number two. two. We got a big man. He's a good crab, eh? Look at him. Solid too. There's some crabs here. Me the crab is finished. You're going to eat him, aren't you? Ooh, num num. Nom nom. <laughs> you got his strong. Uh, uh, no touching. Nom nom. Is it nom nom, Spinny? Nom nom. Nom nom. Are you licking about couple? That's wrestling the crab out. He's going to win. Crab. He's a big boy. Big Get out! <laughs> He's a good crab. Ooh, solid too, eh? Hey, that's a crabby smile. Jesus! <laughs> that's enough crab. So we're moving on to find some fish. Yes, we're in the right spot. Go Alenya! All we're doing is those little lilas we caught this morning and chucking them right next to the mangroves. He's on! That is a good jack, have a go at it. <laughs> He's just come out of the hour, but... Don't lose him. No, we don't have a net or anything. He's in the boat! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. That's a big one. <laughs> good job! Oh, yes. How big do you reckon he is? Oh, I don't know, that is a good jack though. We're in the spot, boys. Woohoo! Yes. Good job. He's coming home, I love jacks. <laughs> it's the jack attack. Look, mum's in with a little jack. Ow! Look at him. <laughs> and then we got another one. An illegal one, Nick did. The uh, esky's looking pretty good. Couple of jacks, couple of crabs. And the uh, day's still young, eh? With a few fish in the esky, we headed back down river to the mouth with some bigger live yeah. bait to try our luck to try and get that big, meatery fish. On the way back down, we ran into this big fella. I reckon he was easily bigger than the boat, 3.5 metres. It was pretty cool to get up close to one of these big fellas, and uh, we ticked this off the list and we got out of there. Damn it! <laughs> Oh, that is a horse of a cod, doll. It's mine bigger than yours, Nick. Oh, we're playing that game, are we? Yep. <laughs> what a bad esky, doll. Oh, that's a fair way out. Oh, oh. Yep, you're on. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, you see it, Go, doll. Oh, oh, no. no. no yes, yes, go, on. yes. Pete, don't, yes, just I keep her bending the rod all the time. <laughs> Go, darling! Yes! <laughs> oh, I think that's your big queenie. If you get a meter queenie, Please I am... No, no, that is... I reckon I that is a meter. Go. Have a look, look at, at him. it. <laughs> I don't know how you can see it out. Look at it. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> Yes, Selena! <laughs> Del, quick. We don't want to lose him. Please don't lose him for me. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Yes! Just, you're just doing everything right. Just keep a bend in that rod. Don't lift the rod too high. We'll get him. What do you reckon? He's a big fish. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Go that way and pull him towards me. <laughs> oh, yes, doll. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> You're getting tired. Oh, yes, it's jumping. Yeah, that's it. Go there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, hold him up. That Woo. is a stonker. No, I don't know if I'll be able to on my own. <laughs> Holy God, he's too heavy. Sit down then. I'm going to put you down for a sec. Have a Woo! go. Alanya Lee. <laughs> <laughs> yes, high five. No, I can't high five. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's heavy. <laughs> Lennox doesn't like it. It woke him up. But that is a fish, Alanya. Woohoo! Well done. Thank you. Over a metre. That is well over a metre. That's like a metre ten or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Right, spear him in, Alanya. Thanks for a good time. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You, you're in the metery club. <laughs> so we got three crab, two jacks. Yeah, two legal jacks. Oh, you caught a few. Yeah. Caught a lot of fish. You got what do you got? A nice legal cod, and then that big queenie. <laughs> yeah, that we put back. Yeah. <laughs> boys are starting they've had enough they're starting to crack it so we might go back cook some bread on the campfire do you yeah a bit of bread and crab eh? a bit of yeah. Yeah. let's see how we go before the boys crack it couple of jacks and a lenny's cod filleting time so i've done all my fillets and skinned them and now we we'll keep some for tea tonight, but bag the rest up in baggies and put them in the fridge. And then I'm gonna probably cook a crab, I reckon, and get that ready for dinner. Hot gubbies. Very hot crabs, mate, yep. Oh. Look at that, that's perfecto on top. Alrighty, fresh bread, bit of crab on there. Lemon. Fresh lemon. <laughs> Ooh. What do you reckon? Mm. This is not get any better than that. Fresh bread, fresh crab. Right out here. What do we think, team? Alanya's already smashed the buddy lollipop. We had a bit of an issue because I wasn't sure if I liked crab anymore. Because in the first trimester, could not eat crab. Yeah, she went right off it. But, good news, still like it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like the crab, Lennox? Yeah. Finny? Mm -mm. Yep, you're still chewing, he's still chewing. <laughs> anyway. Alrighty guys, as the sun sets behind us, we've had a cracking time here at 7 Amy Station. Uh, fishing, crab, and all the works, anyway. And Lenny caught some cool fish. I a caught, big one. Yeah, a big one. <laughs> uh, yeah. We've had a great time. Seven Emu Station is an awesome place to go. Even if you don't have a boat or don't like fishing, this is awesome to just relax. Some of the best sunsets we've ever seen. Yeah, this is real outback. I like it. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to leave you guys to it. Thanks for watching this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will leave you with some Yay. of our dance moves. A fish dance! Woohoo! Sitting lonely in my room again I'm Trying to find the words to say But nothing comes out I am looking for the better day You seem like they just stay away Whenever I try There's so many things that I keep in my mind My friends keep me out And it hurts every time With all the emotions I built up inside Oh, why can't I? Someone look for me if I disappear No matter how much that I scream, nobody hears But I see the light from far away, it's down the line Maybe I should not give up without a fight Cause there will be a time oh, oh.